Oh, hell yeah. Why did I give up smoking? <laughs> oh no! I don't have a lighter. How is that not hot enough? Oh God, I nearly fucking burnt my hand off. Right, boys and girls, welcome back to the shop. And that's probably really fucking loud, so I'll put that over there for a second. Um, this is um. Let's get this right. This is our lovely juice. This stuff, this shit. There we go. I thought I'd put the Red Bull cans to use. And over here we have the Evans that we're going to cook as well. People go on about setting this shit on fire. So let's see what happens. So obviously this Prestone stuff is 50-50. We've got ourselves a blowtorch, which is great, which means it's cook. Oh, we're burning can. Oh, we're burning can. Can we set fire to this liquid? It's boiling. Oh no, quick. Well, this is fucking boring, isn't it? So you see how it's cooling, look. The water is cooling. Let's even get a little picture of that, look. Whoa. Sweet. So that's what this cavitation malarkey is all about. Obviously this is not under pressure, otherwise it would have gone bang by now probably. She's doing a good job of removing the heat though. Flame of this is about a thousand degrees. boiling yet. You can see better than I can. It's like going camping with your granddad. Your fucking dad's there dicking around with a fucking striker and that. Your granddad gets out of the blowtorch and goes, ah, fuck that, and just eats up his fucking mess tin. A fucking blowtorch. I come on! <laughs> Well, we're getting close. Fucking smell it, it smells like an overheating engine. It's got 
taurine in it and vitamin B whatever. You see how quickly steam gets rid of the heat, look. Now that's not the acidity, your cooling system's failing if it steams, obviously. What I'm saying is look at all that energy in there, it's literally chucking around the liquid everywhere. Take the heat away, it's fucking gone. Now. moving, I know that much. It's actually moving it around. <laughs> right, I'm actually, oh fucking, come on the pecs, don't let me down. See, this is what's happening. You can see all the steam coming off it. It's boiling away, and when it boils away like that, it takes a lot of the energy with it. It's an awful lot of energy to get water to trans um, to phase to go through the phase change from liquid to gas. Look at it on Earth. The fucking sun has to do it, and you know the sun doesn't boil away the ocean, but you can feel that fucking heat on your fucking, especially your slap head. You can feel the heat on your head every second. And even like puddles and stuff. When you see a puddle, it evaporates, but it ain't fucking just flashing off like in a load of steam in seconds. You know, you don't even see puddles steam, it's that slow. Because it requires shit loads of energy. You think it's enough to burn your skin after a couple of hours, which will evaporate an entire puddle. You're talking about cell damage versus just evaporating a puddle. Just enough. Well, that might be the glycol, or maybe the, what's end, on the coating on the inside of the aluminium, I reckon. That could be the glycol burning off, because glycols are alcohols. But if it is, it instantly extinguishes. Probably because of that fucking fire retardant. What's it called again? Aha! Water. That's it. That's probably stinking hot. I need to dispose of that in my fucking antifreeze disposal fucking pot. So here we go. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Who put that on? That was it. it. Was me, wasn't it, dickhead? Evans. About the same amount. People are gonna love this one. Ah, oh, I've put I've put too much in there. Haven't I? And this stuff is thick as. Fuck, compared to the old, uh, that shit, it's crazy thick. Are we in shot? We're in shot, let's see if we can get this shit to ignite. <coughs> Ooh, well that was easy. Oh, that might have been the coating, I'm sure we got a flame off that. Let's heat the fucker up. See what happens. Do you know what? I do need some more. I just hope I don't run out of gas. I don't think so. I'm doing it now, later on, so we've got a bit lower light level. So it looks a bit better. A bit better! <coughs> I was trying to look for my full face shield because I'm a bit worried that it might not explode. I'm a bit worried it might pop. Oh, nasty. But remember, there's no vapour pressure.
What's it look like? I can't see. The view I can't see. Whoa, fucking hell. That was a bit violent, wasn't it? Ugh. I didn't like, oh my god, what the fuck is that? I'm firing towards my camera now. Well, there we go. Does Evans burn? It burns like a motherfucker. Yeah. Well, I don't need that anymore. Can I relight it? Yeah. Of course we can. Yeah. That didn't take long. I thought I was going to have to heat it up and more, get it vaporising, but obviously not. It just burns like a motherfucker. Well, there you go. 50-50. Nothing. Evans burns a tree. Coolant system. Breaches. Goes onto your exhaust. I don't know. Is there a possible chance it could ignite? We'll have to test that fucker out. Literally, we'll have to test that out. We'll heat up an exhaust up to engine temperature. With an engine, I'll just chuck some fucking Evans on it and see what happens. Just think maybe this stuff can be used as a seriously expensive fuel for um, some garden torches. It's very slow burning, look. That's going to burn for hours. It's like a candle, but liquid. Liquid candles. <gasps> I can smell a fucking opportunity. Uh, a commercial opportunity. I might give uh, Hydrotech a ring and say, look, the Evan stuff, it ain't good. But, you might be able to sell this uh, ethylene glycol shit as um, liquid candles. Imagine that. It means you could have a tray of candle. No wick, you see? No wick. You can just have a tray in any shape you want or whatever and you just light it and it just looks nice. Doesn't give off much light, but who gives a shit about that? <laughs> so obviously, and Dave will probably correct me here, um, but the fact that there's hardly any yellow to this flame... Oh! Fucking hell, it's magic. It heard me say. The fact that there's no green in this flame... Oh no. Bastard. <laughs> ah, saying that. Let's see if we can get it go green. Where is my... Do you think we can get it to go green? Ah, oh, not quite. Greenish. Oh, sweet. And who said I know fuck all about chemistry? Oh, green. We've got green. We've got green. Oh, dickhead. Set that fucker off again. Ugh. We'll get it going green. That stinks, so that's probably toxic. Green it is. Sweet. <coughs> that's burning my eyes. There you go, boys and girls. Who said I know fuck all? Bit of fun for Dave. He loves his chemistry. He'll tell you. He'll, you watch. He'll tell you. He'll tell us straight away what that what that powder is that I put in. <laughs> 
He'll tell us straight away, no messing. Ah! And uh, just for a bit of fun, well, you've seen it, it's white. It's, uh, it's not this stuff. This is, um, this is uh, leprechaun cooking. It's not this. My name's Matt and it's the end of the day. I've had a really good day recording videos. Thanks for all your subscriptions. We're coming up onto 19,000 subs, which is fucking mental. And I'll leave you with another one of my choice songs and our uh, Evans Green Flame. See you in a bit. <laughs> I never finished off what I was going to say. I got too excited about the being green flame. Um, yes, when we looked at it first, when I said ignited the seven shit first, uh, when I was looking at it, I said, um, and Dave will correct me, that's what I said, and then I got really excited about green, um, is that uh, the fact that it's a blue flame means that there's very little carbon um, in the, in, based in that combustion, um, which I'm guessing is part of the alcohol um, combustion process. Dave, put me right, please, if I'm wrong. But uh, that's what I think it is. Is that right? Basically, blue or oxygen, not oxygen deprived. If it's oxygen deprived, a bit it goes yellow. If that's true, absorption lines and all that kind of shite. Hope that makes sense. This has been quite fun. I was absolutely shocked how quick that fucking set on fire. Uh, we only had to heat it up a tiny bit, and then all of a sudden, boof, up she went. Um, yeah, and there's lovely green flame. Any road, see you in a bit. <laughs>